Now, like, I think um, we did touch upon this uh, last night when we were having a chat, right? And we were talking about, um, you know, obviously a lot of this stuff in social media can be perceived as being insidious and whatnot, right? And, uh, you know, downright terrifying. But what can we do to be ethical as marketers, you know, in the, in the age of social media? Mm-hmm. Right? And um, I think uh, you, you, said, you said something that, that resonated with me. It's, um, you know, we must commit to truth and integrity, Right? Did I get that right? I remember yeah, that I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, more or less, like you know, if, if we're combating disinformation, you know, if that's the if that's the con- the enemy right now in the, in the world and just in our culture, then we as marketers have to take a pledge to always pursue truth with our content to ensure that you know we're not using political occurrences too much to our advantage, and if we are, you know, using that to sort of leverage our audience, that we know the information that we're publishing is coming from good sources and that it's honest information. I mean, I think that as marketers, we have this responsibility for sure. And then with integrity, that's just sort of marketing 101, you know, like brands that, that are spammy and they, that, that have that lack of integrity. I don't think stand the test of time. So really truth and integrity existed before these social media platforms did. I just think that they're amplifying their importance now more than ever. And we as marketers and anybody who owns a business and is promoting a business, I think could benefit them to just always remember that. Yeah. 